after seeing the last two guys bringing up iPad and so on, I think I need to upgrade myself. Uh, I'm going to go off script. First, I think, um, thank you, Fred, for giving this opportunity to, to us, and thank you, Captain Ho, for giving us this opportunity. I think when I went back history, when I was a boy, I, I look at um, heroes. I read, I'm a history buff, I read the Flying Tigers, Captain Chinook was, the, sorry, General Chinook was the leaders of the Flying Tigers, P-40s are the heroes. General uh, MacArthur, Eisenhower, Nimitz, Ernest King, Winston Churchill, our people are heroes. These are big names, big men. So when I was a young man, I joined the Air Force. Uh, I was a nobody. <laughs> I left the Air Force after nine years. So thinking that being ordinary uh, is just rubbish. As you goes by, 10 years, 13 years ago, something happened in my life. My late mother passed on, the hero of my life. So, um, an ordinary woman brought up four children, uh, teaching us the values of family, family values, uh, earning extra dollars just to keep the family afloat. And uh, when she passed on, I couldn't give her a eulogy because I was too distraughted even to talk about my mom. I regretted it. And, and as I think about my dad, mm, I hardly see him. So as a dad myself, uh, I think how we should behave and how Asian parents are. They are the ordinary men, the unsung heroes that many of us don't notice like any like heroes of the days. And then come back to Captain Ho. When I was first approached on this matter, uh, a few months, nine months ago, Guan Yu was the one who told me, I had breakfast with this elderly gentleman, and uh, he's 103, and, and uh, he was the last of the frying tigers, and how he goes to the US at 98 years old on his own to visit another senior uh, flying tiger. So that was how um, I came to know about Captain Ho. Uh, and I told Kuan Yu, I said, uh, we shouldn't forget people like that, you know? We, we, we shouldn't forget people like that. And when I met uh, Philip, Philip uh, brought this, e to sponsor this event, Without a doubt, I say go ahead, let me clear with my shareholders, I don't think it's an issue. And I met uh, Fred and Captain Ho, of course. What touches me was, Captain Ho was an ordinary man who ran away from the war, like we heard many of the stories. But he joined, he joined the Flying Tigers to fight. He was also a husband and a father-to-be who ran away from, from China to make life a better life for his, his uh, uh, unborn child, Fred, in 1949. He's an ordinary man who went to the airlines to become a pilot and teach various pilots, ordinary pilots of the day, in an ordinary life, ordinary people. But he's an ordinary man as time has tested, ordinary men did extraordinary things in extraordinary times. And when I, I went back to the shareholders, there was no issue about, about it. The shareholders supported my, my, my extra budget to, to, for this event. And uh, because we shared the same values uh, in the code, ordinary people make the company afloat. Ordinary we work for the ordinary people. It is the ordinary unsung hero, like all of you, parents who did things above and beyond for your children, for your spouse, and for the people around you. We are always heroes to our children, 
and also to people that we are, we have touches. And Captain Ho is one of them that touches me. So I say thank you, Captain Ho. Thank you, Fred, for the opportunity uh, to be here, to be part of this event. Thank you, everyone.